today we're going to be making a sock elephant using these dress socks. So the first part of the sock is going to be the head and then that second part is going to be for the body. For the body portion before you cut it you want to make sure to flip turn the sock so that the heel is sticking up because the heel is going to be its bum. And those will be where the legs are and the top part is where the top part of the body is. Let me show you what the pieces look like cut. There's the head part. These two are going to be for the ears and this piece is going to be for the tail and this is the elephant's body. At the bottom you can see I cut where the legs are. This craft can be done with a machine, but I'm going to be hand sewing. So we're gonna go through some sewing basics. And the first thing is threading our needle. We're gonna bring the thread through the hole and then give it a good amount, not too much, or else it gets knotted when you're hand sewing. You're gonna cut off that excess and we're gonna tie a knot at the end. So you're gonna make a loop at the end, bring your two strings through that loop and it makes a knot. You're going to want to do this two or three times. And what helps is if you hold on to the knot with your fingers, make that loop, and then bring your strings inside that loop and pull through. I'm going to show you how to do a running stitch, which is what I use to make this sock elephant. So we're going to start by bringing our needle in a little bit ahead. We're going to go ahead and then sew back to where our first stitch was. And then I'm going to jump ahead again, just a little bit, and sew back to where that last stitch finished. That way there are no gaps in your stitching. One more time, I'm going to sew ahead and go back in where that last stitch was. To finish off the stitch, you're going to bring your needle under and through the last stitch you made. You're gonna make a loop and pull through. So you're gonna go under, make a loop, pull your needle through that loop, and then it makes a knot. You're gonna do that a few times, and then you're gonna slide your needle through the fabric and then cut off. Now I'm going to show you another way that you can tie off. You can cut the thread close to your needle so you have a whole bunch of extra and you can tie a knot just like you would if you were tying your shoe. The first way is a little bit more secure. Then you're going to cut off that. You're going to turn the head inside out and then you're going to start sewing, leaving a small opening at one end so that you can flip it right side out and stuff it. I'm going to turn it right side out and then I'm going to stuff the elephant, starting with the trunk and then stuffing the top of his head. We're then going to sew that opening shut. I just pinch the two ends together, kind of tuck in whatever's sticking out, and then just sew it closed. The tighter you pull on your thread, the more secure it is. We're then going to take the body and turn it right side out, and we're going to sew the feet and the bottom portion completely shut from one side all the way to the other. We're then gonna turn the elephant's body right side out, making sure that you get your fingers in those little feet and start stuffing it. You can stuff your elephant as fluffy or not as fluffy as you want. It is totally up to you. Once 
once you've stuffed the elephant's body, you can decide how long or how tall you want your elephant to be. So you can stuff and kind of put his head on to see if that's how tall you want him to be or short and stumpy. Once you've decided, you can cut any excess part of the sock off and then begin to sew that top portion closed. You're gonna scrunch it up and just begin sewing it shut. Once the body and the head are done, you're going to place the head on top of the body where you want it to go and begin to sew the head onto the body. So you can push the head and the body down together tightly and every once in a while you want to stop sewing and readjust to make sure that his head is centered onto the body. This part is optional, but you can sew the trunk onto his body so it stays in place. And just place it wherever you want on, on its body and begin to stitch that on. If you like his trunk to be hanging free, you're more than welcome to not sew this part on. We're now going to sew the ears. So you're going to turn it inside out. You're going to create a pleat on one side of the ear and sew that secure, sew that pleat tight. Once you finish sewing that pleat, you're going to then sew that entire side shut. You're then going to sew a part of the other side of the ear. You want to leave a small opening because you have to turn this ear right side out. We're going to turn the ear right side out and make sure that you get your fingers in all those corners and press that fabric out. You're going to tuck in where that opening is and you're going to sew that opening shut. You're going to position where you'd like the ears to go. I like for the bottom of the ear to touch um, where his body is and his head. And if you want, you can pin it down so that it's secure. You're going to sew the ear on from the back side of the elephant so that you don't see any of the stitching from the front. If you'd like, you can sew the bottom tip part of the ear onto its body so that it's secure and it doesn't just flop around. Next we're going to sew the arm. We're going to make a little indentation by sewing really tightly. So you're going to begin where you want the top of his arm or his armpit would be and you're going to sew a couple of stitches down and you're going to want to pull it really tight once you have a couple of stitches in. This will create an indent so it looks like he has an arm and he has his hands in his pocket. You're going to sew down to where you want his arm to end or where it looks like he has his hands in his pocket. Next we're going to make the tail, so you're going to make sure that the end pieces are tucked in and then you're going to fold it over as if you were making bias tape and you're going to sew that closed. If you want you can tie a knot on one end of its tail and then we're going to sew the tail on its bum.
The last thing we're going to sew on are the eyes. So I'm going to use these buttons. You're going to place them on your elephant's face and make sure they are exactly where you want them to be. You're going to sew into the sock and then into the hole of the button. You're going to do that a few times. And then you're going to sew through the elephant's head to the other side where you want the other eye to go. You're going to bring the next button through your needle and attach it. Sew into the sock and through the hole of the button a few times. The more that you pull on the thread, the more sunken or inset the eyes will be onto the elephant's face. Once you've finished, you're going to sew it back through his face again to that first eye. I like to loop my thread around a few times and then close it off with a knot. So I'm going to sew, and do a stitch, make a loop, and make a couple of knots. I'm going to trim off the excess thread and your elephant is finished. We named our elephant Elia, and if you are making a sock elephant, I'd love to hear what you name yours. You can leave that in the comments below.